And it looks like we are live. It is Sunday night, so you know what time it is? It's time for Learning with Lynn. So I want to welcome you out. I am Lynn Huber. And I'm Richard. And this is Richard. And so um, tonight we are going to talk about the mind shifts, the mindset shift that will change your Avon business. So if you're here, say hi. If you're watching the replay, be sure to type replay so I know you were here. Um, let me move some things around so I can share my screen. Okay, so you should be seeing my screen right now. And so this is my blog. This is Online Beauty Biz. Hi, Anitra. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Karen. Good to see you guys. So this is Online Beauty Biz. This is where I have all of my training for my team and any representative who needs training. Hi, Ellie. Hi, Christina. Hi, Kathy. Wow, we have a lot of people on tonight. Um, so this is OnlineBeautyBiz.com. This is our training blog. At the very top up here, there's a Getting Started. So um, if you're new to Avon, you will want to click on this Getting Started and work through that. There's a bunch of blog posts on that page that will um, will help you get started. Hi, Lily. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Denise. Awesome. So, so um, on the right-hand side, is a place where you can sign up to receive our emails. If you're already on my online beauty biz email list, then you're already on. But this just basically gives you, um, gets you on my list so that whenever I create a new post, you'll get an email. And it's usually um, Monday and Wednesday morning. I just do two posts a week now. And then on Friday, you'll get an email about, um, about any meetings and our Facebook Live and such like that over the over the weekend. And you know, there may be more from time to time, like when we do Facebook parties and all that. Hey Julie, hey Chris, boss ladies here. <laughs> You're gonna catch me on YouTube. All right. Awesome. So um so right underneath that is the search. So if you want if you're not sure how to do something or you need help with something, you can search for it in here. Or there's categories. You can just click on a category and all of the posts that are tagged with that category will show up. If you're on a computer, it's on the right-hand side here like this. If you're on a phone, it moves from the right-hand side to the bottom. So um, it, you'll see like I, there's like I think six or seven posts on the front page and then, then underneath that you'll see this where you can sign up for the newsletter and search and categories. So um, today we are going to talk about the mindset shift that will change your Avon business. That's this post right here. So um, <clears throat> we'll start off with the daily eight. We are working the daily eight system. And so, you know, really growing your Avon business is actually really simple. There's only four main steps. Number one, prospecting for new customers and recruits. Number two, getting a brochure. Um, whether it's paper or digital, doesn't matter, but getting a brochure to every single customer or potential customer every campaign, following up with every customer before you place your order, then you take the order or you send them to your website and you deliver or Avon delivers, and then you rinse and repeat and you start it all over again. So when you first get started, we ask you to create a list of everyone you know, and, mm -hmm. um, and that's your prospecting. Let's start with number one, prospecting. So you'll create a list of everyone you know, and then you'll work through that list and you know, you'll know you text them or call them or email them or whatever and ask them, would it be okay? I just started my Avon business. Would it be okay if I get a brochure to you? If they say yes, that means that they want a brochure. If they say no, then you don't bother them. You say, okay, no problem. No, thanks for responding, right? <clears throat> but once you work through your list, you need to prospect for new customers and recruits because your Avon business is never going to grow unless you get outside of your, your warm market. Your warm market is the people you know. And those people will support you maybe when you first get started, but um, they might order from you in the beginning just to help you out, but they may not stick around. They may not keep ordering. And so you need to get outside of your warm market. So you always need to be prospecting for new customers and recruits. That's the lifeblood of your business. If you're not finding new people, you're not growing your business. And then you need to make sure that everybody gets a brochure, whether it's paper <coughs> or digital, every campaign. If you don't get a brochure to them, you already know you're not going to get an order. So, you know, don't come whining to me when you say, well, I didn't get any orders. Well, how many brochures did you give out? You know, that's the key, right? But then even more important is that follow-up. You need to follow up with every customer that you gave a brochure to because if you don't follow up, you won't get an order. 
It's just <clears throat> that simple. People are busy. We're all busy. And we might look at the book and we might mark it up and we might know, oh, wow, we want that and we want that. And, oh, this would be a great present for little Johnny. And But then they can't call you because it's the middle of the night or whatever. They're busy. And, um, and then if you don't call them, you'll never get that order because they'll forget about it. So you have to follow up. I, it's just amazing because I, when I do my follow-ups, my order goes in on Wednesday. Um, I do my follow-ups on Monday morning. And on Monday morning, I might have, I don't know, $50 to $150 in orders. Um, and then I do my follow-ups. And by the time I place my order on Wednesday, I have like $600 to $1,000 to $1,500 in orders. And that's because I did the follow-up. If I didn't do the follow-up, I would be having $50 to $150 in orders. So it's really critical. And then obviously this is take the order, submit it to Avon, deliver it to your customer, or send them to your online store. That's self-explanatory. So our daily eight system is a way for you to um, know what you need to do to grow your business. You know, we, we're, we're basing this on the fact that if you had a job, if you had a full-time job, you would be working eight hours a day, five days a week for 40 hours. And so um, that's what you're, you have to do to earn your money, right? And so what we're teaching you is to get eight points a day, five days a week for a total of 40 points. So you can click right here and you can print this worksheet. I should have had this open. Take a minute. But you can print this off. This is um, our daily eight. And it goes into, it has a lot of instructions. It really the, the tracking is just one page, so you could print a whole bunch of that one page and then you'd have copies, right? Because the rest of it goes into more instructions. But so you just write the week of. So like if you start your week on a Monday, then the week would be November 16th, right? The week of 11-16. And then your, um, your days of the week. So are you going to work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday? Or are you going to maybe take Wednesday off? And so you might work Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, whatever. So write your days in there. And then your goal is to get points for, for all of the things. Now, I edited this after our last meeting last week. So I'm giving you now one point for every name. When you go out and you prospect, and you prospect for new customers and you get their contact information, you can get a point for every name that you collect. And the same thing if you get a team, a prospect for team members, you can get a point for every name that you collect there. Um, then we're going to say two to three days after you meet them, you're going to follow up, you know, just a quick text. Hey, this is Lynn. I met you at Walmart um, the other day. Just check in to see if there's anything I could help you with. And then you're going to add, when you get them, as soon as you get them, you're going to come home and you're going to add them to your follow-up list so that now you will get a brochure to them every campaign and you'll do a follow-up every campaign before, like two to three days before your order goes in or two to three days before the campaign ends, depending on how you're working your business online or in person or both, right? I do both because I have customers that are set different ways. And um, then you're going to get... Um, so you get a point for doing those follow-up texts and calls. You know, I use a system, and if you use the system we teach, it will take you literally two minutes to schedule it. So I just give you one point. If it's taking you a lot longer, if you're manually doing that, then you can give yourself points for doing those calls, right, or that, or the texts or whatever. Um, and then you're going to get a point for placing your order at, at avonnow.com. And then a point for sorting and delivering your orders. Obviously, if you're delivering over more than one day or you do have a lot of deliveries, you can give yourself more than one point. This is not me judging you. This is not me um, um, policing you. This is your business. You give yourself whatever points you want. I'm helping you to know what the right activities are for you to grow your business. So that's what this is. And then, you know, there's there's passive prospecting, like putting brochures out door to door or, or um, posting <coughs> scheduling posts on social media, having a party or a Facebook event or whatever. Those are all very important. Um, sponsoring new representatives and training those new representatives. All of those are income producing activities. Those are activities you want to focus on, especially the first couple, the prospecting for customers and follow up. Those are like the most important. And then there's some at the bottom that are like business training, like go to Avon U and take those classes or, or come on our Facebook Live on Sunday night or, um, or you know, read the post that I, that I email you twice a week. Or those are trainings. Or get on Avon's Facebook Lives. They have Facebook Lives all the time, all kinds of trainings. Those are trainings, and you'll get a point for every time you do that. And then personal development, because all of those things are important 
But I want you to focus the bulk of your time on the top <clears throat> items, the, the ones that are, the, those are actually going to grow your business. Training is important. Personal development is important, but that by itself will not grow your business. You have to put it into action. You can learn, and, and that's good. You want to learn, but then you have to put it into action, and you have to actually do it. So that's that. Do you have anything you want to add? No, I, I, we, we repeat every week, but this form is for you. The main thing to think of is, is just you know, sometimes you don't stand back and look and see how powerful this is. Even if you only got one customer a day, you got five customers every week for a whole year. You'd have 250 to 260 new customers. And if you had team members and you only got even like one a week, you had 52 new team members on your team. Can you imagine the growth of your of your of your team and of your business? And also, it's always good to, like Lynn said, it's always in the new. It's always good to to uh, to be bringing new people on because. Customers go and or customers, we've had some customers pass away. We have team members that, that just go away. So you're always needing to replace them. You know, it's like it's like in sports or even like on the PTA or anything else. You don't have the same people there for 50 years. <laughs> they, they, they come and go. So you always want to be adding new. But if you just got one customer a day, five days a week, you'd have over 250 new customers uh, that you could rely on to to uh, to be placing orders, and all 250 wouldn't place an order every week, but it gives you a chance that you'd have you know five, ten, or twenty people out of that 250 that would be placing orders every single campaign. In fact, very it's few, really, yeah. very few customers place an order every campaign. Yeah, some do, weird. but then there's some that order <clears throat> once every three months or something, yeah. you know, and anywhere in between. Or, there's even some that order once a year and anywhere in between. <clears throat> so yes, it's always you always have to be looking for the new. And and we teach these follow-up systems, you know, for following up, like texting your customers, using a system to text and using campaign mailer to mail brochures. You want to get yourself going on that system, even if you only have three customers, even if you're only just getting started. Because it's so much easier to set up your system when you're small, and it's so much easier to grow if you already have a system you can plug your new customers into. And and because if you were to go out and and um, let's say get three three names every day, you get three new contacts every day, like like I, I'm hoping you will. And five days a week, that's 15 contacts the first week. If you do it again the next week, that's now 15 more for a total of 30. And you do it the next week, that's 15 more for 45. So can you see why you need to get them <clears throat> into your system? Because you need to get a brochure to them. You need to get um, follow up reminders to them. You need to do all of that stuff. Because you're going to grow fast if you do what I say. Yeah, but like I say, just use the form. This is for you. Does it help us? If if you know you, you can report the numbers and we can we can cheer you on. But but just just it, what what you do, you get. And and it's really powerful on this of just growing customers. And and it, it's just amazing how fast your business will grow. It's true. Yeah. It's true. So then we go back to this post, and <clears throat> um, so you can print print the sheet or click here to download the daily eight plan. That'll get you the same thing. <clears throat> click here to log your weekly numbers. We have a daily eight challenge, and um, whether you're on my team or not, I'm here to recognize you. We're here to support you, and so you just go here and you fill out. You just click on that. Click here to log your weekly numbers. It takes you to a Google form, and you fill it out. You just tell me how many points did you earn, what were your wins this week, what did you not do so good, and I'm here to cheer you on. That's all I'm going to be doing is cheering you on. I might recognize you in our Facebook group. I might send you a card, but I'm here to help you. If you have questions, you can put that in there even, you know, and I'm more than happy to see if I can help you, and um, this is how we can help you even if you're not on our team. So if you're on our team too, you know, I don't know what you're doing unless you tell me. I don't know what action you're taking unless you tell me. So this is just a great way for us to, to, to be in communication with each other. So that's that. Log your weekly numbers. And I'll send out an email. You've probably seen it. I send out emails and I post in our groups. You know, it's time to log your numbers. You know, I do that on the weekend because I figured most people end their week on the weekend. And then be sure to join our Online Beauty Biz Facebook group. If you're not a member, you need to be a member of this. We, we have training in here. We, have, um, we, we do Facebook parties, and you need to be a member of this group if you want to participate in our Facebook parties. And you can bring your guests, your customers, and I will help you sell them. So um, there's all kinds of things that happen in this group. So you want to join this if you haven't already. Online Beauty Biz.
So let's get into what we um, our topic was tonight. So let's talk about the mindset shift that can change your Avon business. When you look at business success, there's a lot of things that might might um, affect the outcome, right? You know, I believe that one of the most important is your mindset. And I bet it's not quite what you think it is. You know, maybe you might be thinking that it's, oh, you're afraid of hearing no's or, or you're putting yourself out there or asking for the sale. And those things are all really important. But the mindset that I'm talking about here, the shift that you need to make if you want to be successful is you joined Avon to start a business, not a side hustle. And I know when we promote the Avon business, I'm guilty of this. I promote it. I write blog posts about it. I talk about the side hustle or the glam gig all the time. And yes, Avon can definitely be that. It can be the side hustle or the glam gig, glam gig that helps you earn a little extra on the side. And that's what I'm promoting when I write my blog posts because I'm promoting to people who work or who are busy that just need a little extra money. And it's a great side gig or great thing to do on the side, right? Now, I'm not saying you have to work your business 24 hours a day, seven days a week. In fact, that's why we give you systems, because the systems do all of the heavy lifting for you. But the words that you use in your brain, in your mind, to think about your Avon business and your mindset about your business really matters. You can work your business full-time, and you can work it part-time. And I think I forgot to tell you, if you want to work your business part-time, you can still do our daily eight, um, but you can do, you can aim for 20 points a week or whatever. You set your own goals and it can be, it can be <clears throat> eight points a day, three days a week, or, or um, four points a day, five days a week, whatever you want to do. So you can work our business full-time, you can work it part-time, but what you can't do is work it sometimes mm -hmm. because sometimes doesn't work. You will not build a business. You will not make money if you only build your business when you think about it. So that's what this is all about tonight is you need to pay attention to the words you use in your mind, what you're looking at your at your Avon business like, right? Um, a side hustle is just that. It's something on the side. It's second to the primary thing. So it's not as important as your main job. It's not as important as your main focus. So pay attention to your words because even if you say part-time job, that commands more respect than a side hustle does. <clears throat> a part-time job still implies that you're committed to putting the part-time effort in. Side hustle kind of portrays that, oh, well, it's something I do when I think about it, right? So when you call your Avon business a side hustle, you're telling your mind and other people that it's just not that important to you, at least not as important as the other things going on in your life. And not only does this hurt your own feelings about your Avon business, it also tells others that you're not serious about it. Um, if you're saying things like this to your customers and they're, they're getting the feeling that you're not serious about your Avon business, they're going to come looking for somebody like me. They're going to come looking for somebody who's actually working their business because they want to make sure they get their orders in a timely fashion. They don't want to receive, they don't want to give you an order. How many times? I'm sure those of you that are serious about your business, you've heard this over and over again, right? How many times have we picked up a new customer? I just had one yesterday. And they say, wow, I used to have an Avon lady, but I don't know what happened to her. Or I got sick of having to wait for my order. She never called me back or she never delivered it. And, uh, you know, I'd place an order and I wouldn't see it for months. That's not what you want to be. If, you, if you're here, I assume you're here because you want to make money. If you just want to play with it, that's totally okay. I mean, I'm not talking to you because I assume if you just wanted to play with it, you wouldn't even be on our live, right? So if you're here on our live, I am assuming you're here because you want to build a business, you want to make money. And so that's what, <clears throat> that's what I'm talking about. Can I say something real quick? Uh, two two things that we hear a lot when we, we sign up new reps is the first thing they ask us is, um, how much will I make? Or what if I don't get any orders? And both of those are kind of like, let's say you just got a job at McDonald's and you, you ask them, um, what, if I don't show what, up? What, what if I don't show up? Or how much money am I going to make? Well, if you work 10 hours, you schedule 10 hours a week, you'll get paid for 10 hours a week. If you show up 40 hours a week, you'll make a lot more money. And if you schedule 10 hours a week and you never show up, you won't make any money. <laughs> and so that's kind of, your job. <laughs> yeah, you probably lose your job. Here you fire yourself. But but it just it's just it's kind of a I understand their thinking because they're they're coming from a, a retail uh, uh, standpoint. You know, they're coming from an employee uh, 
standpoint mindset. and here and mindset and here you're 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 the boss and this is your own business so you know whatever you whatever you uh, hustle whatever you uh, work that's what you'll get er earnings for so and along those same lines um where richard was going i'm just gonna go a little bit farther on that it's true i get a lot of reps that sign up i had one just the other day that signed up and her first text i texted her mm -hmm. and her first text back to me was well is it going to cost me if i don't make any sales how much do i have to sell and I'm like, that's the wrong question because you signed up and I, and I, I didn't tell her that, but I responded and I said, well, you did this to make money, right? So it's not going to cost you anything if you don't make sales, but you're also not going to make any money. And you signed up to make money, I assume. So then you need to sh share your brochure. You need to share your website and you need to get sales. And then, so the, the real question, rather than what if I don't make any sales, because then you've already, you know what? If you ask that question, you've already put it in your mind that you're not going to put the effort in. That's already in your mind. That's the mindset that you already have. Well, I'm not going to do anything with this. Is Avon just going to mail me money? And, <laughs> and I actually have had people, and I'm sorry, I get sometimes frustrated, but I actually have had people where I ask them, would it be easier if I just drop a bag of money on your porch every week? Because that's what I'm hearing from them. That's what they're acting like. Or they'll sign up and they'll sell and they'll be a new rep and they'll be a rep for a couple of weeks and then they'll text me and they'll go, how come I haven't gotten paid? And I'm like, well, what have you done? <laughs> because they've had no sales. So what have you done to get paid? You know, it's, it's, that's the mindset. That's what you need to be aware of. The wrong question is how do I, where, where's my money? If I didn't do anything right. The right question is what do I have to do to make money? What, if I do these things, which is what we're teaching you now, if I do these things, I can make money. And, and how can I make more money if that's what you're looking for? Right. That's the question. That's the right question. If that's what you're looking for is money is how can I make more money? OK, well, you can show up at our trainings. We're going to show you. That's what we're doing tonight. Mm -hmm. right? and, or or you can go to the top of the page and go to getting started. If you don't know what to do, getting started is a good place to start. At the that, top tells of this you, blog, that tells you right every, here, getting started. It's just it's just chunked out. And all you have to do is just follow step one, two, three, four, all the way through. And that's how you get started. And then you'll get better at it. Just like anything you do. When when you do something well, you'll you'll keep doing that. And when you do something wrong, say, hmm, I'm not gonna do that again. And it's a learning experience. But go to getting started and get started. Yeah. Yeah. And there's some I mean, and I spell it all out for you guys. I really do. I give you print screens. I say, this is what you need to do. This is what mm. it looks like. I, sh I spell exactly what to do. <clears throat> and the cool thing is you can work at it at your own speed. You don't mm -hmm. have to know it all. You could even if you're a slow reader, you can do it at your own speed. Nobody's over you. Right. But anyway, so your mindset is going to affect your success. So remember what Henry Ford said, you know, <laughs> whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. Right. Mm -hmm. it, and it is so true. If you really if you go, well, I know. And I actually did a live on this this morning. I did a Facebook live about about positive people and um, people who are positive and positive people know that they can do whatever they set their mind to. You know, so and I know I can do whatever I set my mind to. I might go, well, I want to do this. I'm not sure how. So the question is, how do I do it? But there's never in my mind is the thought that I can't do it. If that does that make sense? So I might Google how do I do this, or I might go to YouTube how do I do this. I use the internet a lot for that stuff. If I don't know how, I learn, and then I do it. But nowhere in my mind is ever the thought that I can't make it, that I can't do it. And yeah, I fail sometimes, but but failure is just learning what didn't work. So then you try <laughs> the next thing, right? You because that's the thing. Yeah, I fail. But I know that I'm not going to give up just because I failed. So I'm going to try that. Okay, that didn't work. I'll go back to YouTube. How do I do this? And I'll, I'll figure it out. I know that I'll figure it out because I'm a positive person and because I have faith in myself. And that's what you want to be. But so when you consider your Avon business to be a side hustle, you're giving yourself permission to not take it seriously. Right. Once your brain isn't taking your business seriously, it's surprisingly easy to start letting things slip. You'll start to notice that days will have gone by when you haven't even given your Avon business a thought. And I've seen this over and over and over again. I have reps that they, oh, yeah, I've been working. But when it really comes down to it, it wasn't until they got an email from me saying, hey, the campaign ends in a couple of days. You need to place your order. They go, oh, oh, wow. It's, I need to get those books out. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, it's it's all about that mindset. It's about doing what it is that you need to do, 
right? And so you'll start to notice if you're not taking it seriously, you're going to start to notice that, you know, th days have gone by and you haven't given your business a thought. That's why we do the daily eight, because if you have that in front of you and you're checking off how many points did you get, then it's in front of you, it's in front of mind, and it's on your mind all the time. Even, it doesn't even matter if you're only working it an hour a day. It doesn't matter. It's not how much time you're working it, it's that you're doing it. It's a, it's on your calendar. If you have a doc, doctor's appointment and you put it on your calendar, you're probably going to show up at your doctor's appointment. If you have a doctor's appointment and you don't put it on your calendar and forget about it, <laughs> you're going to get a bill and, and you didn't see the doctor. Or you'll so. get a reminder from <laughs> yeah. the doctor. If that's how you live your life, yeah. I would suggest yeah. that you might want to learn how to use a calendar. Yeah, use a calendar because yeah. what, what it gets written down on a calendar gets done. So if your Avon business is truly a side gig and it's not as important to you, like I said, that's totally okay. Mm -hmm. If it gives you a little bit of extra spending money when you get around mm -hmm. to working it, you know, it's not something you need to invest in or care about or focus on, then I guess that's okay. Although be prepared to lose customers because they don't like have being treated that way, you know. But if you're looking to make money in your business, it's critical to change your thinking around your Avon business. Um, because of that level of commitment that you've given yourself as a side gig, that's the level of return you're going to receive, right? If you don't invest something into your business, it could be time or money, then you're not going to get much out of your business. And I have always talked about you have to invest Actually, you should probably invest both time or money, but they are flexible. So if you don't have money, if you don't have money, you can invest more time. And if you don't have time, you can invest more money. And they kind of make up for each other. So when Richard and I first started, we had no time because we were both working long hours. I mean, 70 hours a week, and I was commuting three hours a day to get to work. And so we put more money in it, right? Unless we, we invested more money and less physical effort because we didn't have the time. We used to spend Sundays, we got permission to be in front of a Kmart and we <laughs> set up a table every Sunday, rain or shine. We were out there and we were collecting instead of three names a day, we collected 300 on Sunday. <laughs> but but then we used we used money mostly to, you know, and then as time went by, then we started when we, when we were able to quit our jobs and all that, we had more time and so it became more balanced. But you've got to invest one or the other or a little of both if you want your business to be successful. And so if you don't do that, then you're never going to get much. It's never going to grow. It's never going to become the time. Um, it's never going to become the type of business that you're looking to make money. If you're not making money, then your mind's going to start telling you that it's not smart to keep continue to invest money into that. You see the pattern? So now you've taken that. You haven't taken it serious. It's been a... It's been a hobby. It's been a something on the side when you think about it. And you've, and you've actually probably spent more money than you've made because you've maybe made purchases for yourself. Which, by the way, those are purchases you were going to make whether you made it from Avon or Kmart or Walmart, right? You have to remember that. If you're spending money on products, you would have bought it somewhere else, but you bought it from yourself. So that's a good thing. And you got a discount on it. Mm -hmm. But your husband... Or maybe your checkbook says, well, you're spending money. You're, you're not making any money on this business. And so then your brain or your husband is telling you, maybe you better not do that Avon thing anymore because you're not making any money. You're, you're spending money, right? So it's, it's your mindset that determines your expectancy. If you expect it to make money, if you expect your business to make money, then you need the mindset to start thinking about it and calling it a business. Um, Anitra says, I ask myself how to do something all the time. It's a skill I developed being me. Well, you're special, Anitra. <laughs> and, and it's true. So you're the same way, um, Anitra. I know you are. You, because you've lived your whole life that way. You've had to. <clears throat> so you're not like, I can't do it. Instead, you're like, how can I do it? Right? That's the difference. Instead of saying, I can't do it, the, the right question is, how can I do it? What, what do I need to learn in order to be able to do this? Or what do I need to change in order to be able to do this? And then you make it happen, right? So good job, Anitra. So how do you shift your mindset, right? So here's some ideas to help you with that. First off, change how you talk about your business, you know? Change how you're talking to yourself about it. So are you growing a new business? Are you starting a new business or building a new future? Those things are all great if you're just... I have, I have this Avon thing I do on the side when I feel like it. That's not going to help you make money. It's not going to help you change your side, your mindset, right? So remind yourself of that. You're growing a business. You're starting a business or you're building a future. Um, in fact, something I learned 
Um, we used to, Richard and I used to go, we pay a lot of money to go to all these events. We go to two or three events a year, weekend events that from personal, I mean, from professional trainers that we would go, not Avon events. These are just network marketing and direct sales trainers. And we would go, and that's how we learned a lot, right? And one of the things they told us is, if you're building your business because you want to replace your job, when someone asks you what you do, don't say I'm a clerk at Walmart or I work at the gas station because yes, you're doing that, but that's only temporary. What you really want to be your job is your Avon business. So when somebody says, what do you do for a living? Your answer is I sell Avon. Yeah. You're working your job to get you until you, until you can make the money selling Avon. But you know what? That little mind shift, I was a buyer. I mean, actually I was, I had worked up from a buyer. I was director of marketing for a food distributor when I was working my Avon business on the side and um, and people would ask me what I did and I'd say I'm an Avon lady. I mean I had to force myself to do that but I got used to doing that and guess what in a couple of years I was able to quit my director of marketing job and do Avon full time and we got debt free and we got you know all of the things and both of us were able to quit our jobs not at the same time but within a couple of years right so it's how you talk to yourself. That's what makes the difference. So change your language, right? So even if your intent is to build a small business, the way you talk to others about your business determines how much respect you respect your own business. And it determines how much they should respect it. And that, return, and that determines how often or even if they purchase from you. So be careful about the words you use. Because if your customer doesn't think you're serious, they really will go find another rep and they'll call me or they'll call somebody else who's serious and they'll tell me, well, my rep didn't give me a book every campaign. I hear that a lot too. I haven't seen a book in years or I haven't seen a book in a long time because my rep didn't get them to me all the time. And, uh, you know, I have people that even say, do they still make books? And I'm like, yeah, would you like one? Because we use brochures. You know, I, um, I believe even my online customers, I believe that um, it makes more sense to get them a brochure every campaign, which is part of why we use campaign mailer. So even my customers who we never deliver to, even they only order online, if I if I text them, hey, campaign 24, 25 just started, welcome to campaign 25, here's the link to view the brochure, and they're at the grocery store or they're at the dentist or they're taking care of their kids, they might see my text. And then they'll get 20 more texts since then, and they'll never get back to it, and they'll forget about it. So I always tell you that if you're texting a brochure, you need to text again, like a couple of days, three or four days before the end of the campaign, saying, hey, just a reminder, this campaign's going to end on Monday, um, to do that follow-up. But also, if I mail them a book, even though they're ordering online, they have something to look at. They're going to see things that they're going to be more interested in buying. And that book, mailing them that book is kind of the trigger that gets them to go online. So by mailing a book to everybody, my customers I deliver to, as well as customers who only order online, I get more sales because of that. <coughs> so sorry, that went off on a tangent, actually. For sure. And Sherry says, that's why I signed up for Campaign Mailer. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. So then act as if. So we've talked about fake it till you make it before, right? This is really similar. So what do you want your business to look like, right? It might take a little while to get it to where you want it to be, but you know, you know, maybe you have other priorities. Like maybe right now you need, you need some more training and studying, or maybe you just need to get into action before your business can be what you want it to be. Or maybe you have to do a full-time job and you don't have as much time as you want to, to devote to your business, right? But you, but regardless of, of what, where you're at right now, where do you want your business to be? And so get really clear on where you want your business to be. And then you want to build processes into your business as though your business was already as big as you want it. That's why we talk about automating your follow-ups. Even if you only have three customers, it's no big deal. I mean, the automation doesn't cost you um, very much if you only have a couple to send. So I want to make that clear. The automating, the price of it grows with as you as your customer base grows. So you can get started with automating for really cheap. Campaign Mailer, you can mail one book, and it's actually cheaper to use Campaign Mailer, and it includes the brochure, than it does to mail it yourself from the post office. So you can only mail one if you want to. You don't have to pay for some big thing. You just pay for what you use, right? Um, the texting service, 
I think there is a minimum of $10 a month, but you get points for those and you use up the points as you send them messages and the text. And um, if you don't use the whole $10, they will continue to roll over until you use them. You're not going to lose them. So, so you know, it's, it's you start off small. You don't need a lot of money to start off, but you want to get busy with automating. And so if you click on this link about automating the process, this is where I actually teach you how to automate it. There's a video here too about a live we did. Talks about how we use campaign mailer. It says, you know, talks about how I use dial my calls for my customers who I don't have cell phones for. I just have landlines and that's a very few number of my customers. And then um, how I use project broadcast for texting our customers. And this is instructions on how to do all of that. So you just have to click on automate some of the processes here. And then, um, those processes are allow us to stay in business even when it's huge. We can stay up with our business. And then you can, I mean, that takes care of a lot of the grunt work, the follow-up. Oh, my gosh, you guys, if you give out 100 brochures in a campaign and you have to follow up with 100 people, be realistic. How many of you are really going to text 100 people one at a time? How many are you really going to do that? What happens when you have 300 people? Are you going to sit there and text 300 people one at a time? That automating takes one minute and it goes out to all 300 people. It goes out separately. It's not a group text. They're individual texts, but it just takes one minute to set it up and um, every campaign. And, and so now you have freed up all that time to either be with your kids or or be with your husband, or do whatever you want to do, or grow your business. If you're looking to grow your business, you have more time now to go out and prospect for new people. So automating it is huge. And then we also have systems for following up with prospects. This is for if you're looking for recruits, so people that want to join Avon. So I have a whole training on that, and it's the same thing. I have the follow-up for them. That's not quite as automated, but it is systemized. And systemize just means step one, step two, step three. And what's really cool about systemizing it with both the process of following up with your customers and with the process of following up with prospects is now you can get out of your head because it's a system. It's not a, oh, man, I just texted her three days ago. Should I really text her again? I don't want to bother her. That they eliminates that because instead what you're getting is, oh, I need to send text number three. Okay, boom, do it. And, or I need to send email number four. Okay, do it. And so it's not, you're not in your head anymore. You're not saying, I don't want to be a bother. I don't want to bug her. That's what systems do for you. They take that away. And if we automate that, you're automating those follow-ups. So you're not even have to think about it at all. But automating your follow-ups for your customers is you've already put them in a group. You have however many you have five or a hundred or 300 or whatever in a group, you just edit your little text saying we're in campaign 25 instead of 24, right? And my order's going in this Wednesday and you send and it goes out to all those people and you don't have to, again, you don't have to go, well, I don't want to be a bother. Cause I know, especially if you're new, I know that's what new reps struggle with. And I did too. And that's something you have to learn to get over, but you, you're not a bother. First off, if they gave you their phone number and if they said, I want a brochure, they're asking for service. So you are, if you don't give them the service, you're bothering them by not giving it to them because they asked for it. They said they wanted it. You offered it to them. They said, yes, please. Right? So get used to and get over that. Get over the fact that you're afraid to bother somebody and use the automated systems. They're in here. They're spelled out. And then by treating your business as though it's a big business now, you will that will allow you to have your business as large as you want it to be because your business will grow with you as you grow, right? And then surround yourself with people who elevate your mindset. Find other successful Avon representatives to build relationships with. That's why we have our Facebook group, Online Beauty Biz. There's a lot of successful representatives in there. And you can ask a question and there will be people that will come and answer you right? People who have had experience with that. And so if your Avon business is still small, hang out with people who are running a bigger business, who are ahead of you, who might be smarter than you or have bigger networks or that inspire you, you know, look for those. Hang out with people who are better than you because it causes you to stretch. And when I say better, I don't mean that anybody is better than somebody else. What I mean is they might be better than you at their Avon business or better at this or, you know, not a better person. Right. So just hang out with people who are what you want, who what you want to be, what you want to grow into, because then you'll stretch to be with those people. In fact, when Avon offers a trip incentive, which they do every year, 
the next one is it, we, it's already over. You can't get in on it, but we're all going to the Dominican Republic, hopefully next April, um, as long as COVID doesn't mm -hmm. ruin it. <laughs> but, um, but if Avon offers a trip incentive, do everything you can to earn it. Um, because you know why? Because every representative who earns those trips is the cream of the crop. The people that are on those trips are the best people at Avon. And those are the people you want to meet and build relationships with. Richard and I have been on so many trips and we have made best friends. We've become really good friends with a lot of the top people. And those people are selling 300,000 a year or they're top leadership people that have 3,000 people on their team. You know, I mean, th that causes us to stretch because we're friends with them. And you learn from them. Tracy says, that's why we watch you. <laughs> well, thank you, Tracy. <laughs> and um, Anitra says, totally agree there. Okay, Anitra, you're going to be on the next trip, right? <laughs> and then always be learning. And then even more important than that, apply your knowledge. Your knowledge is no good unless you put it into, unless you apply it. Right? There's always something new to learn in your Avon business, and anything you learn is only going to serve you in business if you apply it. You know, Avon just had, they're, they're having these in-focus trainings, their they're, um, Zoom calls. I don't know if you guys have been getting on them. You need to get on them. They just had one um, just the other day. It was amazing. And they had reps that got on that taught you how to post to how to post to Instagram and how to create the videos that they create and how to use Canva and create video with Canva. I mean, they actually taught stuff that you could literally take and use in your business. So always be learning, you know. Get on that in focus. Get on the Avon Facebook Lives. Go through the modules, all of them in Avon U. Um, attend every Facebook Live that Avon offers. Follow our blog and get our emails, right? Attend our Facebook Lives. There's so much training out there. It's not only me. I My training is just part of it, right? But Avon is offering so much training. And if you plug yourself in and you take advantage of what you what is out there for you, you can't help but be successful. Tracy says focus groups are great. Yeah, they are. They actually are. And in a lot of ways, our Facebook groups kind of work as focus groups because, because they, you know, you can bounce things off of each other, right? And then develop new habits that support your new mindset. So schedule time in your calendar. Ooh, I heard that before. I think Richard said that earlier, right? <laughs> schedule time in your calendar when you're going to be working your business. Look, it's not about how many hours you work. It's not about how much you want to make. I mean, it is about that, but it's, but that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about if you want to work part time, then schedule one hour a day or whatever it is, whatever it is that you, you need to sit down and say, how much effort am I willing to put into my business? Am I going to try to build a business and make good money? Am I going to work two hours a day? Then schedule it. Or if it's one hour a day or if it's four hours a day, schedule it, right? Use our systems. Here's a link again for the systems. The things that used that that used to be done in your spare time need to be scheduled because if you were doing it in your spare time it wasn't getting done so that's the mindset shift right you need to schedule it you need to forget about when i think about it i might do it right it doesn't matter whether your avon business is still small and you still have a primary job just figure out how much time you're going to devote to your avon business and then spend that time working it as a business even if you're only one hour a day if you put focused effort into that one hour you can accomplish a lot the, the secret to not uh, not having everything fall apart is to have one calendar you put everything under one calendar that way you know i'm i if you have another job right now this is when I'm at work, but these are the spare times that I have in between family time or breakfast or dinner or whatever that I can run my Avon business. Plug in the times, write it on all on the calendar, one calendar, and you'll make it work. And then even for us, we have everything that both of us are doing. On we have a calendar. shared calendar. We yeah. have a shared Gmail, Google calendar. Yeah. And, um, and it's on both of our phones and, and, um, and we can access it online. But, um, we share one calendar. So Richard's appointments, my appointments, they all go on that one calendar. And when we're working our Avon business, that's also on that calendar. If you might be having to take your kid to 
to a meeting or you might be having to homeschool your kid, that should be on the calendar. Whatever, whatever it is you're doing, all on one calendar because that way you can see where the free spots are in your day. If you have separate calendars, it's too easy to, for, to miss something. So put everything on one. I think that's a great idea. And nature's going to be working towards any trip, even the NFB National Convention. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure mm -hmm. that you'd want to go to that. <clears throat> so, yeah. So, But the Avon one is free, Anitra, if you earn it. The NFB one you probably have to pay for. <laughs> and for those that don't know, that's the National Federation for the Blind because mm -hmm. Anitra's blind. And she has not – She, I was talking about her earlier, you know. She is not the person that says, I can't do that. She says, how can I do that? And blind or not, she will find a way to do it. And she won't let anything hold her down. So, you guys, you don't have any excuse. <laughs> okay. So, hey, step out of your comfort zone. Yes, change is difficult. Even if it's a change you want, it's still difficult because you have to put up with some time of not knowing or, or inconvenience or whatever. Change is difficult. <clears throat> but chances are making this mindset change is going to feel uncomfortable at first. But you just need to power through it to get what you want out of life, right? And it, and it will help you get to where your business will grow. Hi, Sarah. Good to see you. Um, so shift your mindset. So bottom line, even if your Avon business isn't the biggest priority in your life right now, that doesn't mean that it should be downgraded into a side hustle. It doesn't mean that it should be, oh, if I happen to think about it, I'll do it, right? Even if it's not a priority in your life, give it the priority it is. If it's the priority of I'm going to work one hour a day, then put schedule that one hour a day. If the priority is I, 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 I'll give it three hours a week, then schedule that three hours a week. Keep in mind you can do it in, in pockets of time too, like while you're waiting for your daughter to get out of the dentist or while you're waiting for your son to get out of soccer practice or or I shouldn't say daughter or son because both of them could do either one. But, but you know, I mean – it, but the key is is to take advantage of that time that you have. If you have 15 minutes, you can make a couple of phone calls. You could schedule. If you you only need five minutes or less than five minutes to schedule your follow ups, right? You so so um, just schedule it, right? If you ever want to be able to quit your job and build your Avon business into a full time income, you can't afford to call it a side hustle. You can't. It has to be a business. Call it a small business. Call it a new business. Call it an adventure. Call it whatever you want, but call it something important. So that's all I have. Do you have anything you want to add? Yeah, uh, it kind of ties in at the beginning when you mentioned it's kind of like with goals or whatever. If you're new with Avon or if you've been doing Avon for a while, maybe you didn't realize this or maybe you've already seen this. Hold on one sec. Should yeah. I go ahead and bring us back or do you? Yeah, no, that's, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Um, what I'm going to say is, is Avon already has some some goals set up for you, if you realize it or not. If if uh, the the main thing is is if you start with Avon, you ask how much should I sell? Well, the first level to get to an Avon is is Premier, but you really want to get up to to President's Club. But you well, want two hundred dollar orders. Yeah, but yeah, that's that's like two hundred dollar uh, uh, campaign orders. For, for Premier, but to, you really want to get the President's Club because that'll get you earning 40%. And that's $10,000 in, in, in the Avon calendar year. And that's but if, that's. but if you're very first starting, aim for at least two hundred dollars. Right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you start you start up, but I'm just I'm just trying to just just really blankly say they have goals set up out there already for you. Presidents Club is something you should be shooting for. There's other levels, of course, but Presidents Club is four hundred dollars a campaign. You should be trying to get four hundred dollars a campaign, and. But you, how do you get there? Well, you reverse engineer it. You find out how much an average customer buys, and that's how many customers I need to get that four hundred dollars in a campaign. But the, the the point is, is that the goal is there. And then once you hit President's Club, the next goal is to get up to Honor Society, and that's twenty thousand dollars in sales, and that's eight hundred dollars a campaign. So now you have to stretch from four hundred to eight hundred. And then in leadership, they have the goals set up for you right there as well. Um, when you start out, the the the, uh, the goals for you to sell is only like fifty dollars or something like that. But after a while, it gets to two hundred. And and if you're already selling four hundred a campaign to get the president's club, boy, check one, you got that done already. If you're in leadership, growing a team, and then they have the team levels there, and if you have to have just a few hundred dollars uh, to start, but basically it goes to a thousand. Then the next level to move up to the next advancement is 2000. Then the 4,000 and then 8,000 and, and, and on up. Sales. Yeah. That's for team sales. Yeah. But I'm just saying 
Avon already has the goals in there. If you're looking for how, how, how do I know what to do when you start, you have your personal sales levels already established by Avon because these are the levels you want to reach so you can earn more money. And that's the today money if you're on your sales because you, you sell the product and if you're at President's Club, you make 40%. And then the tomorrow money is, is the team sales. As you grow your team, you're not going to make very much in the beginning, but later on, that could replace what you're already making in sales. So Your team, gonna, your team mm -hmm. income can be huge yes, yes. over time. It won't be in the beginning, but as yeah. your team grows, that we're talking six-figure income when you yes. get when you get a big team. Yeah. But 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 the, the thing is is that you have you have goals right there. Avon has put these out there, and that's what you need to, to, to reach for. And then another goal could be if you're already doing the sales or you're growing the team, then like Lynn said, they have incentives that they do once a year. And whatever that incentive is, you want to reverse engineer that and say, Oh, let's see, if I do this, I earn the trip. So you can break that down that way. These can be your goals throughout the year to grow your sales. So, um, yeah, so Richard, I, I agree with him 100%, but I'm going to back it up just a little bit because he missed a little bit. Um, in talking about when he, like he said, when you first get started, your goals, um, I don't want to scare you guys. It's not, you don't have to sell $10,000. Your first goal is um, the pathway to premiere. So your first goal is to aim for $200 orders because for every $200 you sell in a campaign, Avon's going to give you a $20 bonus, 20 or 25 20, I think. It's 20. $20 bonus. So that when you're very first started, that should be your first goal is how many of those $200 can I get in one campaign? If it's one, $200. If it's two, maybe you could sell $400. If it's if it's three, you could sell $600 and you earn 20 times three in bonus. So that's $60 in bonus money, right? So that would be your first goal is that $200. Mm -hmm. But then, then the next one is Premier, which is $5,000 a year which is um, about 200 a campaign, right? Mm -hmm. And then he, then the next one after that is President's Club, which Richard was talking about. And then you go up from there. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, so Avon has, just like he said, Avon has given you these levels to shoot for, what you want your goal to be. And we've always worked it that way. Mm -hmm. We've always looked at, okay, we made this level. What's the next level? And what do we have to do to get there? Mm -hmm. And we yeah. do I like the word reverse engineer because I do that a lot. Whenever whenever I want to get something or, or do something, I, I find out where I'm at and what I need to go to and just break it down. You know, how much is that? A, how, how much of that do I have to do in a week? How much do I have to do in a day? And and, and it makes it a little easier. It, I like to call it chunking down. And when you, when you chunk things, it's like if you give somebody a social security number and you have all the numbers up there, you can't tell what's what. But if you break it down into... Into, into the the three sections with the little dash in between it makes it easier to remember and it's the same thing with doing your business if you look at something and i need to sell ten thousand dollars in a year oh my gosh i can't do that and there's the word can again but if you break it down to oh that's only that's only uh four hundred dollars a campaign wow that's only like 20 customers because i'm selling so much per customer and you say oh, wow that's easy i can do that and that's like one one customer every other day or something. So you you break it down and you can talk yourself into things, seeing the smaller picture as opposed to the bigger picture. Well, and another thing, um, this is a little off topic, but one of my good friends, Timothy Brown, I've been talking a lot about him lately. <laughs> <laughs> he just impresses me. But you know what he does, and I, I love this, is he'll say he'll he'll chunk it down to. Um, okay, pick an item that you wanna that you wanna uh, focus on that campaign, especially mm -hmm. someone who's new. So he'll say. Make a goal to sell 100 um, shower gels this campaign. And mm -hmm. then everybody you talk to, maybe make a little flyer or a little image that you can post on Facebook. Everybody you talk to, hey, I made a goal to sell 100 uh, flat shower gels. Um, how many can I order for you? And they're not very expensive. What are they, 269 or something? Yeah. yeah. I, I don't quote me on the price, but they're not very expensive. And, um, and if you sold 100 of them, you'd be way past your goal. Right. So that's another way to do it, but it's just chunking it down. Mm -hmm. So Aaron says, thank you, as always, my daughter, a new rep. Mm. This was a great <laughs> first life for her. Danica. Welcome, Danica. Right, Welcome right. to Avon. <laughs> and you know what? Your mom is the perfect person to be helping you. She is she's got it going on. So you're in good hands. So welcome. I know I have a couple of brand new reps that were supposed to be on today and they haven't commented, but hopefully they're on and they're just maybe being shy and not commenting. But Tracy says, great advice breaking it down. It's really, really what it, all it is, is just figuring out what you want and then yeah. break it down into steps to get there. Yeah, keep things in perspective. It's, it's, sometimes a lot of things are overwhelming when you see a big picture. 
Yes, they they like like eating and how do you eat an elephant? You eat it one one piece at a time, one bite at a time. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we've been on almost an hour, so let's end yes. it. Thank you guys for being here. Next week, I'm actually going to talk about how to build a $200 order. And I actually have a blog awesome. post coming out tomorrow about that same subject. So that's what we'll be talking about next Sunday. So because for new, especially we brought in so many new reps, so I want to help people get mm -hmm. a good start. That's why I wanted to go back to the beginning sure. instead of President's yeah. Club. But thank mm -hmm. you guys for being here. Have an amazing week. And we'll see you next Sunday, same yeah. time, same place. Have a great week. See you at the top. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>